Hi there ladies, Manisha here, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an experimenting. I've seen a new craze going around um, on Instagram and um, a couple of videos I've seen on YouTube. There's not really a lot out there, but um, it's called bubble nails. So, you know, it's a, um, a new technique and I thought I'd give it a bit of a go because it does look, the end product does look really fascinating. So I'm going to be using um, some gels, I've already done some nail tips just to save on time so I will list the colours that I've used down below and I've also pulled out a hollow um, powder, this one just happens to be from Madame Glam called Musca. I've also got a unicorn powder and then I've also got like a sort of duo chrome one as well. This one's from Beauty Big Bang. And um, I'm going to be using Madame Glam's um, No Wipe Top Gel. This is one I just save. I've put a little heart on there. This is one I save for glitters and things because it it's already been contaminated. Um, and the nail tips I've got ready. And I might even do some more later. I'll just see how I go. I um, might use some magnetic polish as well. Um, so these ones here, I've just cured them um, under the lamp and they're ready to go. But I will um, fast forward the next part, do a bit of a voice over and let you know exactly what I'm doing. Um, just so you know, this is just some dishwashing liquid. So I've just used dishwashing liquid with just some water and all I'm doing is kind of foaming it up like that because you're going to have to use um, foam you know sort of bubbles of some description on top of your um, nails to get the effect so I will be whisking this I'm going to get my kitchen whisk out and get a bit more foam going because I will need to use this on top of the nails to get the effect but anyway um, just stay tuned if you want to see how it all goes fingers crossed it all works out well and we've discovered something new. I mean the videos I've seen have all been in Russian um, or they've had no wording or no description on what they're actually doing so I'm just kind of guessing um, how it all goes so just wish me luck anyway and I'll see you on the other side. Okay so first up I'm going to be using um, that Beauty Big Bang Duo Chrome or Multi Chrome Powder, I can't remember <laughs> what it's called um, but I'm just, I've you know cured my black polish I've done a coat of top coat you know pop the um, powder over the top brushed off any excess I'm just going to be pouring on another coat of top coat curing that layer make sure you do do this step don't miss the step out getting my foam ready so I've got my whisk out of my kitchen <laughs> getting some foam going so I've just used dishwashing liquid um, and I'm sure um, you know you, you just try out your dishwashing liquid you've got at home I'm sure you will get the same results that I'm getting here so now that that first layer of top coat has cured I'm just popping on a second layer now um, don't cure this and then get something just to scoop up that um, foam off the top. Now don't dip right down into your water because you don't want to get water on top of your um, gel polish. We just want the bubbles at the stage. Um, try and get a mixture of sort of big bubbles, little bubbles. You know, it'll create different effects obviously. Um, you'll see the end result later on once I've cured it. So I've cured that in the lamp. I've given it, um, actually I've given these 60 seconds and then I'm just gently patting it dry and that's the final nail there so what do you guys think i just think it's amazing now switch my desk lamp off because it does give a better effect when it doesn't have strong lighting it just get a bit more of a natural light um, and you can see the two different colors showing through so next up i've got the one that i'm going to do over the gel polish so that i've cured that layer of green and then i'm just popping on a coat of the um, perfect purple now don't cure that layer of perfect purple we're going to put the foam straight over this now you can actually use if you've got one step gel polishes that's even better and i did think about that after i'd done this experiment um, that I probably should have done it with um, one step as the second second layer or the you know or for both of them because then that just kind of takes out the need to have a layer of um, top coat over the top so this nail turned out quite textured um, yeah quite different from the first one so next up we've got the magnetic polish gel polish so I've just already done a um, coat of the base which was the black one pop the um, coat of the cosmos over the top and I'm just using my magnet there just to activate it um, then I'm going to cure this layer so this will lock in that magnetic effect of the nail make sure you don't miss this step out um, or you could probably try it without and see what happens anyway but I did cure this layer and then I'm popping on a coat of the top coat 
this will seal the design in but before you cure that obviously you're going to be popping on your foam so if your foam starts dying down just kind of whisk it up again um you know i had to do that just a couple of times but my dishwashing liquid's quite strong so um yeah it didn't die down altogether and um, that's the final result for that one. I really do like the finish of this. I'm going to try it out with some glitter polish, I think, um, next time I give this a go. And um, yeah, that's, um, that's that one there. You're going to have to let me know down below if you've got any favourites amongst these, because um, I liked most of them. I thought they all turned out quite cute. So next up, I've got a cured uh, white gel base with a coat of the top coat no white top coat and I'm just putting the unicorn powder over the top of that uh, what brushed off any excess and then putting on a coat of top coat curing that layer and then I'm going to be putting on another coat of top coat and then we're doing the bubbles over the top of that and um, don't forget to cure that for 60 seconds I'm curing all of these for 60 seconds as I've mentioned before because I want to make sure um, they are fully cured. I just feel like 30 seconds might not quite cut it at this stage because you're using um, an extra thing like foam and um, yeah we want to just make sure that that light is penetrating and getting right down to the bottom of it. So last but not least I'm going to be doing Musco, that's the, um, the holographic one. Um, and I'm just doing that over a coat of the black cured and then the top coat cured. Uh, it's a no white top coat, just using a sponge there to pop that over the top. Brush off any excess, do your coat of top layer, cure that and then do a second layer of top coat and cure that. I'm um, sorry, don't cure that one and then put your foam over the top of that. Cure it for 60 seconds and then this is the, um, the result of this one. So I'm just going to talk briefly about each one and give you a bit of a close up now in this next part of the video. Okay, so I'm back with the final results and what fun, oh my goodness, I really like this new technique, I'm quite excited by it because I'm sure you agree there's lots of different ways you're going to be able to use this with your um, current gel polish selection and chrome and powders and pigments and whatnot. So just a recap again, so this first one here, a little bit of a disaster because I kind of got a bit um, carried away and flooded the nail a little bit but this was the one done with um, perfect green as a base and um, cured followed by perfect purple and then I popped the um, foam over the top and then cured it and that's what it came out like now I've cured all of these for 60 seconds only because I wanted to make sure it was curing all the way through because it's got an extra layer of something on it um, but yeah I, I just I mean you can see from the different size of the bubbles how different the effect can be so yeah lots and lots of fun there to be had so you can sort of try different techniques with this so this was the um the beauty big bang um duo chrome powder or multi-chrome powder um that's the product code if anyone's interested this is quite quite old now they released that a couple of years ago i think it was but it still obviously still works really well and that's over a back black base Next up, this one here is Cosmos, and that was a magnetic polish, and I did um, activate it with the magnet first before going ahead and using the bubble technique on a um, on the gel top coat, should I say. So next up, we've got the one that was done on um, Perfect White, Madden Glam's Perfect White, followed by the Unicorn um, Powder, which of course you can use on a darker base as well, which will give you more of that kind of finish, I think, from memory. But oh my gosh, isn't that one fun? That one's a great one if you're wanting something a lot lighter. Um, but you can still get the Unicorn effect coming through, but with the added um, dimension of the bubbles, um, there too, so really really cool. I mean these do remind me of reptile skin um, For anyone that's into animal prints and um, animal effects and stuff like that at the moment But yeah, I mean it's a really cool effect and like you can see with all these You can get a totally different finish depending on what your base is like and so last but not least we've got um, Musca so this is Madame Glam's um, holographic powder which was done over a black base um, one coat of musca another coat of the um, Madden Glam's top coat cured 
followed by second coat of top coat and then that's where I put the bubbles on top so if you are using um, chrome powders and pigments I do one coat of top coat and cure that then go ahead and do your bubble technique on an uncured um, layer of top coat just to make sure you're not actually disturbing um, all that you know effort you've gone to underneath I mean check that out I'm gonna do a macro let's let's get in real close with these and see how they look if I can get my um, camera to focus just one second okay so here we are nice and close up for you you can get a real feel of what it looks like now that one first one is obviously quite textured as you can see here I've even got bits of fluff off my cotton pad I'm stuck to it so with this one and um, I think the best thing would be to do actually a um, one step gel polish as your second layer and then you'd have to worry about top coating again because this isn't top coated so I mean to me it doesn't feel sticky but I you know like normally with anything like gel polish you'd be adding a, a layer of top coat over the top of it anyway um, just to seal everything in so yeah that one there I'd definitely be top coating now for the rest of them I wouldn't even worry about it because I mean you have you have put a layer of top coat on um, you know and so that is what's um, basically sealed the whole nail in but I mean isn't that great it looks amazing close up um, I'm just going to switch my light off because I know that this one here looks a lot better in normal daylight without strong lighting but check out how that transforms doesn't that look really really cool I just love how it does show the blue and the gold and the green coming through amazing here's the um, magnetic one um, pop that light back on that's the, the unicorn one this is so I can definitely see um, me doing something like this on my nails. The only thing with me, I don't like a lot of texture or don't like a lot of bling on my nails, so I don't know how I'd cope with it, but it's not actually that rough. I mean, you could go ahead and do that top coat, but what, why, why worry about it if you don't really need to? But that's a close-up of them. I'll leave some pictures for you. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, whether it's something you've tried out or whether you think it's something you'd like to give a go to. Thanks again ladies for stopping by, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are. If you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it is free to do so. And I'm also over on Instagram, you'll find a direct link for me down below. Apart from that ladies, thanks for stopping by and hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are. Bye for now.